Hey everyone, how's it going? It's me, it's Korzak. Welcome back to part 31 of the Dark Cloud 2 Platinum Walkthrough. In this video, we are going to go through these cinematics, clear out the rest of these dungeons, view the cinematic in this room, and clear out these floors right here. So, let's get right into it. Move to Garden. to die like this. Poor thing. I was thinking that maybe I would put them up in your room. It'd be a shame to waste them. Would you like that? Um, yeah, that's a good idea. What was that all about? There! Look! So this right here is actually a scoop that you can take a photo of, um, but we're, we can take that picture later. We get to put it into a vase later and we can take a picture of it there as well. So we're just going to take this and save the picture for a future video. So let's go on in over here and continue off in the dungeon. You do need to pick this flower up to actually get past a certain point, by the way. The missing gem dealer. All right. Take a look at map at uh, Max and Monica's weapons. Okay, so she has a lot of points I can mess around with, actually. Uh, let's bring her up to uh, 130 Exorcism. I'm curious if that'll actually be enough for her. It might be, but it may also not be. Okay, her weapon's looking like it might need um, 145 points. For each of those things, possibly. Or maybe 140, who knows. Okay, it's kind of looking like 140 then. Okay, so we'll put on four more exorcism. And we'll throw on four chill crystals. And then it might only need a um, cyclone after that. Okay, now let's take a look at the exorcist or at the uh, cyclone. Yeah, sweet, as I figured. So it's 140. So this thing's probably gonna need like three more weapon levels, possibly. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, I think it will need three more, and then it'll probably be ready to build up. Um, Max's hammer needs a lot of stuff and his gun also needs a lot of stuff uh, let's how about we put some uh, beast on here that should bring it over a hundred and then I'll probably get the smash up to a hundred and then I'll just kind of pick something to level up individually alrighty Alright, a 
That's what I get for assuming that I'd be able to just do that easily. It's okay. They only have your HP. I don't want to get greedy, because that's usually when I always end up messing up. Or when I get impatient. <laughs> so, if you don't do either, you'll never mess up. That's how it works, right? Alright, that's decent. Max's hammer is more powerful than Steve. Literally. Hmm. I'm thinking I'll put some scale on here. I might also put a bullseye coin on here to try increase my dam to try and increase my damage. We're gonna need to get this thing another weapon level up. We got Mr. Guardia over here. Sweet. Alright, is it just that one guy up there? Yeah, it seems like it is. Got some of that cheese. Alright, cool. Now we're just gonna fly on out of here with Steve. <laughs> yeah, Steve's taking some damage, actually. Oh well, that's, uh... The cost of playing with him, I guess. Do we have the watering pot? No. Do we have the geostone yet? No. This is a pretty big map, and I haven't really been rushing too much, so I don't think we're going to have enough time to uh, get the time challenge done on here. I also don't really like the enemies that we're fighting, so I think I'm just going to try and get out of here quickly. I do want to um, get his hammer at least one more level up, though. Oh my, really? Okay. 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 I walked into the after wave of his attack and that's what finished me. Let's finish this with her armband. Okay, I just saw a flash on that dot, so I was thinking that was the uh, enemy who holds the gate key, but it doesn't seem so. It's just because I kind of stepped out of its radius for a sec. Taking a risk coming this way. Well, I mean, I'm not really risking anything. I'm more risking time. I do like to be as efficient as I can. It doesn't always go down like that, though. Needs some serious work too, right? Oh man, <laughs> that's just depressing to look at. 
This thing's probably gonna get to like plus 20 or 25 before we can build the thing up. You know what, do I have any, uh... Yes, I do, so... Oh, that's really bad damage. <laughs> but something that can be done, actually, is just, uh, I don't know why I wasn't doing this, but I can just get a, a weak weapon to plus five, break it down, and put it onto the weapon. Alright, we got Mr. Stormy over here. And he has the key that we are looking for. Alright, we took him out with our good Broussard, now we'll equip our bad Broussard. And this will probably give it a full level. Oh yeah. One full level. At uh, later parts in the game, some enemies can literally just give you three or four levels at once. Like in Zelmite Mines, if you take out a certain enemy and you put um, a battle wrench on, like the absolute first weapon in the game, it'll just get like three levels. Just like that. Okay, I'm not gonna fight that thing, because it's probably just gonna be the same thing with what happened to Max. Alright, sweet. Uh, right here. We are gonna back out so we get our free heal. Alright, the next one, Max's longest day. Okay. This is using his gun only. Depending on what enemies are in here, it could be his longest day. I'm going to keep file two, I don't want to save over that. Um, yeah, let's get it. Let's go get it. Well, we will get his gun some level ups here. Probably. This could be very easy or very time consuming, depending on how strong the enemies are in here, or what kind of enemies are in here. It's more like it. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not great, but it's not terrible either. Can deal with that. Oh man, a hundred damage, literally. That's a piece of cheese. Did I put points into this? Yeah. The poison I have on here helps a little bit. It makes it so these enemies aren't as... Well, I mean, it's just extra damage for nothing, really. I could probably put a bullseye coin onto my gun too, as well as my hammer. That's just weird. Why, why, why would this thing have an Eevee on him? Well, speaking of Eevee, I should probably feed my fish. And I'll just give him some Eevees too. <laughs> Increase those stats. So I basically don't recommend just feed your fish Mimi, Eevee, and Minaw to increase the only stats that you actually need to win the Finny Frenzy. Alright, the clubs are a little bit harder. It's possible that a specific element isn't good against these things, and it's just possible that the actual laser gun to begin with is just ineffective against the cards. Because some enemies are weak against laser guns, doesn't matter what stats it has, and then some enemies are strong against them, for example. Like, um, 
Max could have a maxed out Legend Hammer, and Monica can have a maxed out Island King. And if you attack uh, an enemy that's resistant to a hammer and weak against a sword, Monica will do more damage and vice versa. Ah yes, the clock hand. It's time for some backtracking. Backtracking. Um, maybe not yet. It seems like we're gonna have to go back up that way anyway to get to the exit. So I think going this, continuing to go this way will be the most efficient still. Oh nice, he's just standing there, that's good. <laughs> and it took like 10 durability to take that thing out. Actually more like 15, because I think my thing was full when I started. <laughs> Oh yeah, this gun leveled up, so I have synthesis points now. So, how about we put a coin on here? Bullseye. So from what I understand, this coin basically just increases your damage sometimes. Is basically what it's supposed to do. It just occasionally does more damage. I can put the time coin on here too, I think that would be pretty helpful actually. Having an enemy freeze in place could be helpful. And I don't want to get greedy with the, all the buffs on there, so I'm going to leave it there. Sometimes you can put a coin onto your weapon and it'll just kind of disappear after. Or it'll make something else disappear as a trade-off. On the super weapons, I'm pretty sure you can have every buff, though. Oh yeah, there we go. So that one shot was a critical. So it dealed double damage. So it seems like something's making it so my gun can actually stun an enemy for a, for a second. Okay, that wasn't super clean, but it got the job done. So there's two enemies behind the locked door. We might be able to beat the time challenge for this. There's only one way to find out. Just walking closer to me, that's all it's doing. There we go, it froze. So it doesn't seem like that effect actually happens very often, but it is a powerful effect when it when it does happen. And depending on the kind of monster you're fighting, it can really save you, or make your situation significantly easier. The good thing about having stop on a ranged weapon is if there's a pack of like five enemies close together and they're all strong, if you can maybe from a distance stun one of them, it'll kind of give yourself an easier time because then there's one less enemy attacking you. By a Drake. Alright, a club. Sweetie froze. Uh, it wasn't for very long. Oh, so maybe that's what happened to the fire Drake earlier on. He just got kind of stunned, and then that, that's kind of what happens, maybe. I'm not 100% sure. That's fine. It's not really important. Okay, let's get rid of this lone wolf up here. Well, there were no, like, super challenging mobs that have tons and tons of HP or are super strong against Max's gun. So they didn't take very long. 
Who knows, it's possible that we're in the 8 minute mark, and we may actually be able to get the time medal for this too. That'd be pretty cool. I actually have no idea how long we've been in this floor for, so anything's possible. Sweet. Oh, that was close. I do not want to die. Oh. I lost the experience points, oh well. It is what it is. Okay, this guy's not too bad. Actually, my first shot just did double damage, which made me think I'm stronger than I am. Alright, that should do it. Sweet, sweet. Super sweet. Alright, how many shots do we have for that? That is so doable, it's crazy. We may, we may get another 100% floor right here. Okay. Um, yeah, basically just go straight. I probably could have gone a little harder than that. Oh, no, it was perfect, actually. Alright, cool. <laughs> yeah, we got pretty lucky with this floor. Nice spawn. Beautiful. Now it's a straight shot and we have three chances. <laughs> so yeah, really good spawn there. Nice. Nice shot. Five destruction crystals. That is kind of underwhelming. What are we doing? We need to uh, leave the proper way, or we'll need to redo this floor. Uh, where is it? Okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna find it the old-fashioned way. Now we're gonna do that and bring it down here. Now it'll be easy to find. Know exactly where it is. Now I think you already guessed what we're gonna do next. We're gonna save. Because you never know. Now we're gonna back out so we can heal. Save those items, even though we could very easily go buy more. I think that this saves time in the long run. Clear all without healing, yeah, see even that right there, perfect, perfect timing. So we're going into Hell's Corridor, huh? I wonder what enemies we're going to be fighting on this floor. Well, as long as we don't heal, that's one medal out of the way. And then the other one is just time challenge. And then speeda, obviously. Okay. Okay, this guy's weak against my gun. That should get his gun a level, probably. Nice. A moon flower fence. I think Max is... No, not really. Yeah, this is a Steve enemy. Let's just scope out this corner over here. There's nothing over here. I want to try and prevent backtracking, so let's just clear. Let's just take a look at this spot. Make sure there's no mobs hiding up here. Since we're doing this on Steve, it's going to be fast. Oh yeah, we got Mr. Skull Chief over here.
Alright. I'm not sure how good Max's hammer is against this thing, so let's just do this. We'll just block. Nice, I like getting that. It's a good thing to have. You can use it for crafting certain things, or inventing, I should say. It's kind of a rare item, so finding it like that is good. I haven't healed, have I? I, have, I don't remember. I don't think I have. Okay, we're gonna put a few blows into this thing with Max. No, I don't think we've healed. So we should still be on track. Oh, what was that? What's up, Chief? <sighs> well. I guess Monica's gonna level up her sword, unless she frickin' dies. Yeah, this guy is the chief. He frickin' two-shot Max and almost brought down Monica. Okay, so now this this situation's a lot more dire. Because now I'm basically 75% down. And I can't heal. Because then I'll lose the metal. Oh well. If I did half a floor with one HP, then I can do this too. There's not much more dungeon left, so... There shouldn't be as many enemies, probably, and I'm not limited to just using her sword or anything. Charge attack OP. <laughs> cool. Alright, so now we know exactly what to expect. There's four more enemies. If there's no mix. I'm just gonna go for what I know is- okay, that's annoying. Oh. What was that damage? Wasn't Monica's sword, like, terrible against this thing before? <laughs> Alright, yeah, look at her. It's probably from the beast I put on here. Definitely the best way to handle these things is the charge attack. Okay, I think this guy's weak against the... Well, he's not weak against it, but he takes decent damage from it. It's not wonderful damage, but it's acceptable. Oh, nice, he froze. Okay, my damage is getting worse over time. Alright. Sweet. Aw oh, man, I can't even res max. If I did, that would get rid of the clear without healing metal. Well... That looks like an annoying speeda anyway, so I think it's fine. Yeah, like a shot to just get it out of there. Yeah. Okay, there's 11 shots. That's pretty generous. Because you basically need to get like 7 perfect shots to make it up there. You could do it with 6 maybe. But you need a little bit of luck. But I don't really want to use the resurrection powder because it counts as healing. And I'd rather just save it for a more crucial situation anyway. It's okay.
There we go. Monica all alone. Ah, oh, and I hate that. <laughs> Attack and defeat everything using the ride pod. Now here's a seal that makes it so you can't use Max. Gotta love it, right? Oh well. Well, it seems like uh, we're probably going to uh, get Monica's sword a couple levels. Pretty big floor. We may not be able to do the time challenge, it's fine. We're already gonna have to run this floor a second time to begin with, and I don't really feel like buying a seal breaker. Her sword needs more smash, apparently. Although I guess it makes sense that a blade doesn't work too well against a literal suit of armor. Okay, I'll throw on six cyclone. Hmm, something else we could do. This sword will probably level up pretty quickly. Do any of these blades have a cyclone on it already? Yeah, so I could probably break that broadsword down. So maybe let's take an enemy out and then we'll give the experience to the broadsword. Okay, a heart and a joker. Oh yeah, two and a half levels, <laughs> sweet. That'll be a very efficient use of synthesis points for sure. <laughs> I think for now the best thing to do is to just break the seal on this floor. Alright, let's wait for like a group of two mobs. Because then maybe we can get the other two levels in one go. Well, there is a group of two mobs right here, so maybe we should just go there. Let's just go open up this, these treasure chests over here quickly. That's good to have. That'll help for a little bit later. Use a key because we have like 37. Only 18, but close enough, right? <laughs> a soul breaker, huh? I think that's a rocket launcher for Max. Max has a few kinds of guns. You can build up a machine gun for him a uh, grenade launcher for him or a uh, laser gun for him we're doing the we're doing the uh, laser gun this run I personally like to play Max with the wrench and the machine gun but the hammer and the uh, laser gun are technically the strongest Alright, let's take care of these two mobs right here. Okay, well this isn't going to be very efficient, oh well. Let's just take those experience points. Okay. That, that, that kind of drove me a little crazy. I didn't like that. Alright, this last enemy should get it to plus five, ideally. 
some more efficient use of points. I think, yeah, I can't use Max, so how about we eat something, just in case. Cool, so this should get the sword to plus five, ideally. Okay, perfect. The exact amount required. Okay, let's just throw on, like, that. That'll probably max it, honestly. I don't really have a way of knowing what the max stats on here would be. Let's just put on flame, because I have so many of those crystals. <laughs> Okay, cool. It'll give a nice durability boost to her sword as well, even though it's probably already pretty high. Yeah, so it's basically going to be capped after this. So we're still going to have to get her sword another level. Although I think I still have a level up powder, so we can probably skip that part. Yes. Now let's just do it, because we're probably going to need at least four more crystals on there. Nice. <laughs> So we should be able to build our sword up after this now. Beautiful. Oh, we still need to take out a clock knight. I wasn't even paying attention to that. Alright, well, that'll have to wait then, I guess. Crap. Oh well, we'll find one of those in this dungeon anyway, but a few floors up, I think. All right, well, we can just give experience to her armlet right now, then. I don't really want to give her sword experience points. It's not necessary. And her armlet needs work anyway, so... As soon as I say that. Okay. Uh, just one power hit for this thing, then. I think that's one of those uh, crossbow skeletons over there, if I'm not mistaken. Oh no, it's a joker, okay. Just a charge hit for this guy. He has a lot of HP, or high defense against the Brassard, which I don't really love. Okay, I'm just gonna take him out. So I guess I'm just gonna probably end up getting another sword level for this thing. Maybe. It's kind of looking like a yes. Okay, let's eat something. Premium chicken? That's a waste. We'll eat the cheese. Don't you heal. Don't you do it. Cool. Okay, that's fine. They just have your HP. That's all they do. Hopefully we encounter a clock knight soon. Soon. Okay. Of course we're fighting all enemies that are resistant against the Brassard. Oh, we still don't even have the watering pot. So, even if we didn't want to, we would have had to have cleared this dungeon out anyway. Alright, there's a level. That kind of scared me. I'm gonna eat something. Just enough to survive a hit. Okay, let's get her Brassard, her off Brassard a level. Because it's uh, efficient. This thing could use a durability bump anyway. How are Max's weapons with their durability? His hammer sucks. 
And his gun's okay. Oh, a King Mimic. Let's just step away from that. I don't need to heal. The best way to deal with this is to attack it from behind with a sword. Or stand right in front of it and let, let it hit you. Let's just open this chest. I'm not so sure about getting the speed metal for this floor. Basically all we're doing right now is breaking the seal, honestly. Alright, last enemy, easy enemy. Cool. That's it. I'll take the teleport, because no matter where it is, it's probably going to be closer to the exit anyway. I mean, I can literally see it. And it's not very far, but it is slightly closer. Um, that doesn't look too bad. Let's do it. This should be doable. I've seen worse than this. Probably could have done it a little bit harder than that. Alright, all the way over to the wall now. <laughs> just not too hard, I don't want to send the thing just coming back to us. Okay, not perfect, but could have been worse. We do have some extra shots for this, so it's not too bad. Okay. Ah, oh, man, that was an accident. Oh, well, I think this angle works. If I can see it properly. Yeah, this angle works, so that's kind of what I was hoping for. Good. Okay, not too hard just to kind of line it up. Not into the hallway. Perfect. Okay, this is going all right. Okay, not too hard. Just kind of get it over here. That sucks. Um, is it? Oh my, oh man. Ah, it's stuck. I hate that. It is glitchy. This has happened to me one time before in uh, the Ocean Roar Cave. Yeah, we're not getting that. That is a pain. That is really annoying because that was we were so close to man. Ah, uh, well, there's nothing we can do, unfortunately. That sucks because we were pretty close too. Raging spirits with just Monica's magic, huh? We can try that. Don't know how strong it's gonna be, but we can try that. <laughs> oh, gives us an excuse to uh, build up her brassard a bit. I'm surprised that right now is the first floor in this whole dungeon that we've actually gotten one for her brassard. Quite a while in, actually. Depending on what enemies are in here, this should still be doable, though. I just hope there's no jokers. That would just be annoying. Ah, oh, man, her brassard is so weak. I think uh, I'm going to make our life a little easier and do this.
This is the problem now. Because if I misclick, I'll shoot out a bolt from her sword. And, uh, mess it up. So maybe instead of blocking its attack, I'll, I'll just dodge them, because it's faster. Okay, that's unpleasant. Let's back, let's back it up a little bit. And now I'm weak again. Come on. Instead of meleeing me, how about you shoot your wind blast or whatever instead? Okay, this guy's annoying. This is... Uh, at this rate, this is going to be a very long dungeon. Okay, he's a melee ranged hybrid. And we're dead. Okay. Well, I guess we're not getting the medal. It's okay, because that was getting tedious very quickly. We'll do it again when she's not a noodle. Alright. Well, we may as well just kind of finish this floor and leave then, so let's get the watering pot and just get out of here. Okay, what, what, what enemies do we need to build up? He needs the Evil Nail and the Lancer. And the Vanguard MK2. She needs Clock Knight. And... Moonjo, Clock... okay. All those enemies are in this place, and they just come in a little later. Alright, let's just find the teapot, geostone, and get out of this place. I'm probably gonna level Monica's armband up off camera. That's a good thing to have. Basically what that is, is it heals Max and Monica when you use it. Beautiful, that saves us some time. Alright, the enemy we need is right down at the Geostone anyway. Perfect. I love the efficiency. <laughs> Thunder Ghost. Oh, he's paralyzed. Cool. I hate the kicking thing. It's very inefficient. Oh man, we're like a millimeter off of a level. Now I'm j now now I just kind of want to go take an enemy out so we can get a level. Well, we kind of need to go this way anyway, so we'll just take care of this guy right here. Nice. Alright. Okay, I want to put a bullseye coin on here. And we may as well just put the healing coin on here as well, because why not? Okay, so now this hammer will be able to do critical hits, and it should also heal us when we use it, as long as this buff goes on properly. Sweet. Okay, cool. Um, let's just do 10 beast crystals. We'll probably do scale after. Cyclone might be the last thing I do. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I just realized that, uh, Cyclone's good against flying monsters, but I also think it's good up- good against wind-up enemies. Like, uh, those balloon things that we fought earlier. Uh, well, not in this video, actually, the last video. Now uh, let's take this guy out, he's a new enemy. I mean, we're still gonna end up running this floor again later for the Metalhead Trophy, so it's not like we're missing anything, but I don't know, I'd rather just pick it up anyway.
Proceed to the next floor. Okay, what's the metal here? Lonely machine. We haven't done too well on the metals recently. Okay, let's save up. All right, now back in. There's only five more normal floors. And then there's uh, five of the red, the red floors after. And then we're at Griffin. Well, there'll probably be like five videos before we actually fight Griffin, honestly. Because there's a lot to do before that. Well, maybe not five, but there'll be at least two. Maybe three. I think I'm going to avoid using Monica right now. Um, just so I can level Max up a bit. Because her weapons are in decent shape right now. I guess. So I'd rather just, uh... Get Max some levels now. Because, like, all she's waiting for is a Clock Knight, and then we can build her up. So I'd rather just leave her where she is for now. Clown. Yeah. Chances he has something helpful for me is very unlikely. I mean, I don't think that's useless, but it's not very useful either. Actually, I think I can use it to get rid of petrification, so yeah, not bad. That is what it's used for, I believe, right? Yeah, petrify- no, it just petrifies the other enemy. That's still okay. Alright, let's just do this. Okay, well this is a dead end, so let's just go up here first. Because there's definitely an enemy or two up here. Another clown, huh? Let's take the red one again. Nice. Full cheese. Hey, here's some cheese that you can't take. Oh, you can't take it? I guess I'll just keep both of these things then. Bye. I could have used that speed of club too. I don't have that one. Is Falcon the top end speed of club? No. Well, I think they're all just slightly different. Well, it says that some of them are good for medium shots and some are good for long. And then there's one that's good for short, I believe. I kind of just usually always use the swan, because it usually does what I need it to. Steve fly us over. I'm not really trying for the speed metal, but I'd rather just save time anyway. Nice two for one. Okay, let's do it again. Sweet. <laughs> He does more damage than I thought he would against them, though. Oh. Alright. Let's see if we can get Monica some armband levels then, shall we? Depending on what her damage even looks like against this thing. Oh. 
Well, that was probably a good thing, actually. <laughs> okay, it's not bad damage. It's not great, but it's not bad either. How about how about we don't let her die, though? That would be cool. It would be even cooler. Alright, what does this do? One level, maybe? Yeah. Another elephant, huh? Okay, let's eat something. What was even this? What, what was the metal here, even? Alright, yeah. So, how about we just get out of this place? Do we have the flower pot? No. I'm not really feeling like there's much point in being here right now on Monica. So let's just kind of finish this and go. I think that's the Vanguard MK2, right? Yes. What's happening? What's happening? Okay, that was weird. I couldn't, uh, stop blocking. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I don't really want to use any of this. I'll just use three of these. That is literally useless. Just use two of these. I will just use one of those. That is very valuable damage. I don't want to waste it. Okay, just gonna unequip that. And re-equip our bad Broussard. Okay, that's a level. Let's, uh, we're, we're kind of already doing it. No, we're just gonna go. I don't want to get greedy. Okay, let's get past this successfully. Nice. Alright, so we're just going to uh, give a little power up to Steve, so... What we're going to do is make him the Nova Cannon too. So we're going to use the Fire Gem Altar. We're going to use... The Sun. And we're also going to use... The Street Light. And this will make us the Nova Cannon too. So this will do more damage than what we're using right now. Okay, so we just need to go buy some holy elements. We can pick that up from Conda, no problem. Uh, let's just go here, it's fine. Alright, to the back of the train we go, which is like literally three feet to the left. Although, I guess for her, it's three feet to the right. <laughs> anyway. Right here. It's definitely more than we need, but that's fine. Alright, Nova Can 2. So how much more powerful is this over the original? This one is 300 attack, and this one is 240. So it's not like massive, but it will help out a little bit for sure. Uh, you know what, we have a decent amount of experience. So we could probably um, buy his Master Core now, but I am, I'm gonna do that in a separate video. Just because it is its own standalone trophy. Anyway, let's go to the Moonflower Palace. Alright, it's time for nobility. So we have seven minutes to do this so we can do it without healing. So, with doing this with Steve will make it significantly easier. It 
Yeah, we can save time on the way. Why not, right? Okay. I mean, the damage isn't, like, amazing, but it is definitely more than what it was. So, it's certainly going to help save us a little bit of time. Ah, uh, there's a Moon Joe. That's something that Monica needed. Hopefully we'll run into the, uh... Oh, no, actually, Max. I think Max needed that. Doesn't matter. We needed that enemy. Hopefully we run into a Clock Knight soon, though. Because that's the only thing that's holding back the, uh... Monica's sword from upgrading. That was decently high damage. In comparison to the others. Okay, that was even more. Here's a couple more mobs. I think this would be a good floor to level up Max's gun in. It's all ranged enemies that are easily dodgeable. I don't think there's any good floors for leveling up Monica's armband. Doing it for her just kind of sucks, honestly. There we go. We figured out how to go up those stairs. Another one. Okay, that one's down. We got this guy right over here. Maybe I'm moving around a little too much. I am. I like that. That is a good weapon. Very powerful item. And we fell. Okay. Life element. Got some more enemies. Good old Moon Joe. <laughs> Joe from the moon. Alright, let's hop on Max for a sec. How about we don't hop on Max for a sec? <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm so lucky. That That's like actually stupid how lucky I am. That could have been so much worse. Well, I mean, we've done enough on Steve anyway, so even if Max died, we'd probably get through this anyway, just fine. But, I mean, I'd rather just do it on Steve. He's He makes this a lot quicker. Oh, hey there, Stormy. I always like fighting these kind of enemies. They look cool. If a big f elephant blob looking thing is cool to you, then yeah, I think you might enjoy it too. I don't know, I, just, when it, I, I always just kind of liked fighting those monsters for some reason. Okay, well we haven't gotten the compass yet, so if there's a treasure chest in this hallway, I can probably ignore it. There is the chance that it may also be a mimic, so it's kind of anybody's guess on if I should ignore it or not. That might be the last enemy, though. Yes, it is. Nice. Okay, that's kind of a straight shot. Beautiful. <laughs> 
man, we got so lucky with Max. Like, that could have gone so, so many different ways. <laughs> Alright, cool. Beautiful. It's just a straight shot now. Alright, nice. Got it. And that's how you get three medals in one go. <laughs> We just gotta not heal. Oh, there's two chests, but I mean, one of them is the magic crystal, and I probably don't need what's in the other one. What I do need is this right here. Nice. Yeah, I think three or four floors are 100% done already. Oh, another one. That's clear all without healing. Okay, let's just step out and go back in. We have eight minutes to do this one. So maybe the floor is going to be a little bit bigger than the other one. Okay, let's save up here. Alice Watchdog. I'm just gonna leave his speed of thing on, cause why not? <laughs> yeah, this is a really small floor. We definitely do not need eight minutes to do this. No matter what enemies are in here, this definitely does not take eight minutes. If we were fighting this thing on Monaco, it would probably take eight minutes, but good thing we got Steve. <laughs> cool. Oh yeah, that one had the uh, watering pot too. Well, I mean, we're here for the metal, so how about we just do it? Oh, there's the Clock Knight. Nice. It's not what I remember, but we'll be able to upgrade Monica's sword now. Beautiful. After we fix Steve's weapon. I think I might just kind of wait until this floor is done. Just let Steve handle everything. <laughs> Toy rock. That is fast. And he's also done now. Oh, another one. Another one. Cool. Wow. Well, I mean, I guess this floor is technically named after these things, so I guess it makes sense. Yeah, this is basically a Steve level. All these enemies are armored, pretty much. Ooh, banana. I'm probably never going to use those bananas. If I do... Well, I don't know. We might end up using it, and I really don't know, but probably not. It's kind of like the last resort, really. I'd rather use literally anything else first. Okay, this is kind of excessive. With these multicolored rock things. Okay, we gotta be a little more careful. Our Steve is going to go down. I don't want that. I think I actually just got his speed a stick a level. That's not necessary at all. <laughs> I 
Alright, dodge that. I'm actually kind of surprised that we dodged that. It looked like it was going to hit me. Okay, there's a Mimic. Yeah, so this is just a very condensed level for the monsters. We should definitely have enough time to do this, though. Another toy rock. That's fine. It's a clear all without healing metal, so it doesn't really matter what we do attack wise. Yeah, it was his speed of stick that got a level up. It's kind of a waste. Oh man, just three vanguards. From what I remember, Max's gun is okay against these things. Yeah, it's okay. Repair powder. Yeah, I think I'd rather just have Steve handle this. It's faster. And we are on the, we are on the clock right now. Not literally, but we have eight minutes to do this. And it's actually taking a little bit longer than I thought it would. Because it's all strong enemies with high HP and high armor. Alright, one of these chests is probably the magic crystal. Destruction Brassard. Let's just have Max handle this. Oh, that was the last enemy, okay. Cool. Let's play the speeder. The speeder. Alright, this is basically a straight shot, and we have three. Perfect. Beautiful. <laughs> I got lucky with this spawn, nice. Okay. I'm alright with that. Okay, let's build a Monica's sword. Into the Griffin Fork. Made from the feathers of a legendary monster. Uh, cool. So it basically just needs more of those stats. I think 185 of each. And then it's the Island King. That's it. <laughs> Um, yeah, the sword's pretty much strong against everything. We'll just throw some scale on there. To start with. Yeah, this sword will build up really quickly. It has a unique uh, sword animation, as you can see. Nice. There is a reason it's called the Griffin Fork, but uh, I'm sure that you guys can figure it out. <laughs>
All right, next floor. Perfect. Two perfect floors in a row. Max's right hand weapon. Depending on what's in here, that's very doable. Let's try for it and kind of hope that there's no weird stuff. <laughs> we probably won't be able to get it done in time, but we should be able to get it done like the just his portion of it. And then Steve can kind of do it again later in speed mode. In turbo speed mode, the road to memories. Oh, starting off with the big guns, huh? Alright, get behind them. Okay, we got a nice level up right there. Let's just throw six scale onto it. This should bring it up to 89, right? Yeah. One more level of scale and then we'll start doing other stuff after. Just raw, t oh, another King Mimic right off the bat, okay. Just raw attack power also help this weapon. Okay, get behind him. It's easier if I don't stay locked on to it. Nice. Okay, there's an annoying enemy to fight with your hammer, but it should still be doable. I think this hammer does have some cyclone on it, so it won't be too bad or anything. It has no cyclone at all. <laughs> Alright, well, hopefully our raw attack power will carry us. It could be higher, but it could be lower, too. I can live with that. Oh, man. I don't like that number. <laughs> we might go through a cheese supply if that happens again. I'm not going to do the last attack because it's slow. That I really don't like. Let's see if I can lure lure one of them over to me. That was high damage against the skeleton guy. Okay, I'm taking some damage. Oh yeah, just swinging the hammer heals me, which is cool. Sometimes. Not all the time. Oh no, I think it heals me over time, actually. Does it heal me when I hit an enemy, or does it just heal me over time? It, it heals me over time, okay. That's cool. So then if you have it on both your weapons, you heal even faster. Okay, we got some elemental thing over here. Storm Ghost. Okay, I'm decently strong enough against this thing. Nice. So if I really wanted to, I could just walk away from the screen for 10 minutes and heal the full. I mean, that's not very efficient, but if I really wanted to, I could. I'm 
kind of in danger right here. Let's eat one piece of bread. Stolen escape powder. Not a useless thing to have. Oh, another one. That was close. I almost took that right to the face, which would not have been great. Would have been nice if that attack didn't go, or if my attack stunned the thing, but you don't win them all. Uh, I think as long as I don't deal damage, that should be okay. Now, now I just kind of have to get lucky, because I've had games where it works and then it doesn't, so I really hope that doesn't count against the metal. It would be kind of annoying. Pounding against the moon joes with my hammer is not the most fun thing to do when I could just use anything else. <laughs> Well, this guy's not super strong, but Monaco would just completely tear it up. She does like five times more damage than Max. Although Max isn't too bad against it. 100... 100 damage per hit's not terrible. Okay, there is an enemy waiting for us right here. Right here. Okay, this should be... Is there an enemy right here? Nope. This is a pretty small map, actually. So it's not impossible that we might get the time medal. But I'm not really thinking we are going to. Yeah, there's like six more enemies to fight. Five at the minimum, but that's a lot of chests close together. It's pr probably at least one of them is a mimic. And that right there doesn't save us any time either. <laughs> I think the Minon dropping from that thing actually kind of makes sense, because the Minon kind of looks like an insect, and insects crawling on the bones of an undead monster kind of makes sense. As morbid as that may be. Uh, you know what, let's just put Cyclone on here. I want to see if that actually helps. It's not like we don't need the Cyclone anyway. Okay. Does that increase our damage against this? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Nice. Pretty significantly, actually, which is nice. Okay, there's another one. Is he gonna come down here? Just smacking the thing around for like literally an hour. Nah, it's not that bad. No, I think this thing's a beast, so it wouldn't make sense if Cyclone worked against him. If I put more points into beast, it would probably increase my damage against it.
There's at least one more enemy, but there's maybe two. Oh, nice. I'm not complaining about getting that. Okay. There shouldn't be a reason for why I don't get the medal. Beautiful. Okay. Me picking that skeleton up didn't mess us up at all. This is very doable. So we will do it. Okay, I think this is just kind of a straight shot, so let's do it. And I messed it up. Okay, that could have been worse. It definitely could have been worse. Okay, because we got that line up there, it's good enough. Perfect. Okay, we have three hits to do this, so we're in pretty good shape. Ah, uh, it hit the wall twice, apparently. Okay, this should still be doable. And luckily the thing didn't get stuck in the wall again, which is good. Nice. So just coming back here on Steve and just kind of blowing everything up with the Nova Cannon won't be so bad. That is also a very helpful thing to have. That's kind of like what the rice pudding is, except it's stronger. Oh no, I'm mistaken about the rice ball. I said earlier that it heals both players, it doesn't. It's kind of like a banana, except it's actually helpful. However, it'll make it so you uh, need to drink water. Um, and then the rice pudding is what heals both players. Where is it? It's probably at the bottom. Yes. Yeah, fully restores the HP of both characters. And the premium chicken fully restores HP, but for only one person. But the premium chicken's a very useful thing. And then the cheese is kind of like a good heal. Yeah, I'd say we did good on this floor. Oh, this is Alexandra's room. Okay, I thought it was the. I thought we had to do one more. So we're going to be going into the red dungeon then. Cool. Alrighty. So you need to uh, put the flower in here, and you then have the opportunity to take a picture of it again. But we will still leave it there and just come back later so that we can get a picture of this all in one video. Alexandra? Hmm? What is it? Alexandra, I'm sorry. But the truth is... I'm the one that broke the flower. Mm-hmm. I know. What? Sorry. I knew all along. Aren't you angry? No, it's fine. Maybe it was this flower's role in life. You know, 
flowers always give people something. For me, it can be happiness or strength or just the courage to make it through another day. Huh? This flower gave something to you too, right? What? When you broke the stem, you must have felt something. That was the role in life for this flower. Besides, it gave me something as well. It taught me that you're a very kind young man. Alexandra. I don't really have anything to say about that. The final trump cad. Well, the dungeon's going to be red now, which is a nice change from the purple. As much as I like purple, it's actually one of my favorite colors, but it's not the only color I want to see. The enemies here are much stronger, though. That's pretty much powered up versions of what we've already fought. Yeah, S Diamond. Oh, wow, my fir the first hit stun st made him, uh... The first hit stopped him. Okay. That could have been timed a little bit better. Another S diamond. Well, we're starting to make some progress with Max, but he's still kind of weak. We're kind of playing in dangerous territory right now. Yeah, I, I called it. Well, I guess Monica's just gonna get an even stronger sword out again already. Anyway, she literally one-shot them and they almost one-shot me. Look at that XP, though. <laughs> That's crazy. Six synthesis points just for that. Alright, we'll eat this cheese. Um... Okay, let's get this Broussard to plus five already. Just patiently letting me do that, okay. Will this be a full level? No. Her sword is just so strong. It's... Okay, we need to eat something again. Her armband should level up from this guy, and then we can break it down and make her other armband more powerful. Okay, so what do we need on this? The answer to that is yes. <laughs> Literally everything. Okay. So I am definitely going to put a little bit of everything on here. Well, I don't know if that's going to be the most efficient thing to do. Uh, we'll do some lightning. Since we have so many lightning crystals that we're not using. And then I guess we can just do... Some smash. Why not?
All right, I'm happy with that. So this should be a decent upgrade for her armband. I could also put this on Max's hammer if I wanted to, but I'm gonna give it to her armband. All right, that is an efficient use of five points. Now we still have 13 more synthesis points to actually use. I'm not 100% sure of what I should do. Should I go for those secondary stats or raw damage? Raw damage would help make this thing more usable, but it's definitely not going to be the most efficient thing I can do. Hmm. I don't know how many enemies are actually weak against lightning. I think uh, I'm going to put smash on here. I want to prioritize getting that up a little bit. That's 100% not going to be enough. This thing's going to take a while to build up for sure. An antique sword. Hey, that's a good sword four chapters ago. <laughs> Is Flame the highest stat I have on this thing now? Uh, I guess it just kind of does whatever it decides. Oh, no, so I think something you can do. No, okay. Oh, I healed, okay. If I get hit by that, I might just die, honestly. These things have high attack. Yeah, building up the Brassard is not going to be as fun as building up her sword. Well, the sword literally does six times more damage. And there's no charge up needed for it. Eh, honestly, I might just kind of leave her armband and then just use gems that I can get later and build it up that way. Okay, so the three hits will take that thing out now because of the level. Or the uh, attack bump that it got. What is this thing's attack anyway? 173. I have an obscene, an obscene amount of stats right now. Uh, let's put on five smash. I want to see if 170 is what's enough. I think 170 is what is enough. No, I think 175. But I'll just bring it up to 180. Because it may actually be 180 that it needs, and it's just kind of an even number, and I like that. Cool. Um, yeah, we'll just throw some scale on there. What was even the medal for this place? I don't remember. Items. That's not gonna happen. Uh, let's just take this enemy out, grab the Geostone, and get out of here. We're gonna have to rerun this place, because we haven't been going for the time challenge either. Nice solid level up there. We got our armlet of that level up too that I wanted. So yeah, I think we're pretty good with this floor. Nice quick hit right there. I like the griffin fork, it's cool. 
Although I don't really feel like if... I don't think the look that it has really suits it being the most... the second most powerful sword in the game. I feel like it could be third or fourth, really. Like, the, uh, Sargantanus looks better than this. I'm not saying it looks bad, but it doesn't look, like, phenomenal or anything. It'd be cool if there was a glowing weapon in this game. <laughs> Alright, Elemental Party. Clear all without healing. That'll be easy if it's with Max. Alright. Now this is a pretty big map. So we're definitely just gonna have Steve clear this for us. Oh yeah, there's some high defense mobs too, so having Steve do this will be the best. Man, that's a lot of hits. These things have high HP. And big defense. Okay, let's get up over here. Okay, that's done. We don't need its experience points. I think Steve pretty much has all the XP he actually needs now. Uh, maybe he needs a few more thousand actually, but we'll kind of get that inevitably. Vanguard Mark II. I'm so used to playing with having access to the map at all times that I think it would be hard to just play without the map now. How is basically the eternal third party member. <laughs> Donnie can be useful too. Uh, because you you can then basically ignore all chests in the early floors, but then you don't really have any idea where you're actually going, which is the problem there. So Pow is overall going to be the more efficient character. Did I miss something here? No, I didn't. I thought I saw another red dot, so it kind of freaked me out for a sec. Okay, we got a rain ghost. You can't carry anymore. I'm over encumbered. All right, it's going down. Oh, that was close. Moving on. <laughs> A little bit of backtracking, but that's fine. We're super quick on Steve. High damage. High mobility. It's everything you need for success. In Dark Cloud 2. He just kind of showed up right in my face. There's a lot of mobs in here. Clock a night, huh? There's a lot of enemies here that are pretty close together. Maybe if they group up, I may get two in one hits, which would be cool. All 
All right. So we're making some good progress right here. That's two down, two more to go. Okay, that's a three hit monster, and I think this is a four or five. Yeah. I think that was actually six. Okay, let's uh, repair. Just one's fine, probably. Got that red paint that we're literally never going to use. It's okay. Ah oh, yes, <laughs> we need we need those rocks. Huh. Well, actually, we might need those rocks. You never know. We aren't. There's still one more Giorama to do, so it's not unlike that unlikely. Okay, these are last two monsters, probably. Sweet. Okay, that's the time challenge. Good. How long did that take us? Huh, nice. I think we had seven or eight minutes to do that originally. Okay, so this should be doable. Um, we have the amount of shots that we need, so... Let's just not mess it up, shall we? Remember, the best way to not mess anything up is to just not mess it up. It sounds simple, because it is. If you just don't screw up, then you won't screw up. Okay, not too hard. And he hit it hard. Okay, well, I think that's fine. Hmm. That's kind of in our view, maybe? No. Okay, so I only have one real opportunity. Okay, let's not hit this one too hard. Although it's going to be ricocheting off the wall, so it's going to turn red, probably. Yeah. Okay, so we only have re one real shot at this now. We need to bounce it off the wall into the rift. And that kind of looks like the shot that we need. So let's just do it straight, all right? Oh my goodness. That is really, really annoying. Because now we need to come back here for just Speeda. That is a pain, because that was such an easy shot and I messed it up. <sighs> if I didn't, if I just hit it straight, then it would have been done. Oh well, he can't do anything about it except do it again. You win some and you lose some. I mean, I got like seven really easy speed of medals, so it's not all bad, right? Monster transformation is just not going to happen, okay? <laughs> not right now. I'm going to have to do some monster grinding off camera to get it strong enough to actually come and do this place feasibly. Well, we may as well just get the speed. Get the speed metal done and complete right now. Because we're sure we sh we're definitely not going to get this done in seven minutes when we come here to do monster transformation. Bringing them down. There we go. Let's get out of here now. Ah, oh, Toy Rock. This enemy is annoying. And it's kind of ugly. <laughs> I 
Alright, fighting the moon, Joe. It looks like we got a Lancer. Yes. This thing is much cooler than the Lancer in Final Fantasy XIV. Although I think the Dragoon in Final Fantasy XIV is probably cooler than that guy, so... <laughs> Yeah, they drop escape powder. Remember, if you didn't, if you need to run away, just take out the strongest enemy the dungeon has to offer, and then you can run away. If you get the 10% drop rate item. No, I don't actually know what the drop rate is. It could be anything. But it doesn't not it does not drop from every single one. That is for sure. Got the king mimic. Okay, we gotta fix our weapon now. I'm just gonna do two. I was just gonna say I'm taking care of business, but it looks like this guy, this little toy rock is too. More soap. Clean ourselves up after getting gooed. Although there aren't actually many enemies in the game that do that, there's like six in total. So it's not that common of a thing to need to deal with. Petrification's more of a problem. And yet I still have no items that actually remove petrification. Alright, this bad camera angle, I'm not going to accomplish anything like this. That's yeah, a reskin of the Night Stalker. I don't know why I'm just saying that now, because this is like the third one that we fought. Another Moon Joe, that's fine. Actually, I'd be happy if all of them were Moon Joes, because they take a lot of damage. As soon as I say that, there's actually another one too, that's cool. Alright, I think we are on track to getting the medal. I'm gonna drink. It looks like there's only three more mobs. There's two chests there. There might be a mimic. We'll just have to wait and see. Let's get rid of this guy on the end over here. First. Another Lancer. He should just hurry up and job change already. Alright. An easy enemy and an annoying enemy. It takes good enough damage, I'm sure it's fine. It's still coming, huh? Oh, it's okay, we just won. Oh yeah, one of them is a mimic. Some sturdy cloth. The studious cloth only, please. King mimic. I kinda saw that coming. Yes, we did get that done in time. And I messed up the teleport. Oh well. So this shot has potential. I'm just hoping I have at least two. Three would be ideal. Two is like the minimum. Yeah. So this is very doable. But we have to be a little bit more careful in this area. Um, okay. What, what, what was that? Weird glitch. Anyway. 
We'll use this one because it's a little bit, uh, it's good for shorter ranges. Or, I mean, we could also just kind of smack the thing over there and hope for the best. Let's do that. If it goes out of bounds, they'll just come back to us and it might be blue. Who knows? <laughs> okay. I think that we can probably do the wall ricochet. As long as I don't knock it crooked again. Okay, all that didn't work. Oh well. We're already gonna have to run this floor again anyway. Steve has taken a beating. I mean, we only did like one or two floors with him and he's basically done already. Alright, two more. Beware carelessness. Noted. So that means we're gonna go have Cedric fix up Steve for us. That sounds like a plan. That That is a Steve floor anyway, so it makes sense. He's just hanging out waiting for us in Heimrata. We literally just go to this guy's house like every like day. Like literally every day. Like, in-game, it's like every day. And you just have him fix up our robot. All the time. And he never charges us or anything. How's Steve doing? Well, I didn't mean to go in here, but since we're here, I'll just buy one of those shield kits. All right, back to the dungeon. Okay, let's go for uh, three out of three with the medals. We have six and a half minutes to do it. That should be enough time, especially if the map is small. Oh, that's a decent size. Okay, so it seems like we have no choice but to go this way, because who knows what's actually over here. Alright, we had five and a half minutes to do this. These enemies do actually have like decently high HP. And this map spawn is okay, but it's not great. I'm definitely not going to spend any time to pick experience points up. Okay, good. There's nothing up there. Let's just quickly go down to the exit, since there's most likely an enemy down here, probably. No, what about this dead end? No, okay, there's nothing over here then. If anything messes up the time frame, it might be that door, depending on where, on where we get the key to it. Okay, there's two chests here, so decent chance for picking it up. Sweet. Okay, so that gives us a good chance. Let's get as far away from this thing as possible. Nice. Alright, no monsters. Got a chest right here, though. It's a mimic. 
Oh yeah, Mimics are super OP in this chapter for some reason. <laughs> so he's going to take a few hits. Alright. Yeah, there's one enemy back here. We do have to open it because of that. Okay, a leech. Let's back, give ourselves as much distance as possible. Okay, nice. Let's get out of here. There's a lot of chests. We can't ignore them because there's 100% mimics. I'm not opening that. Don't have to. What's up, Lancer? Another Mimic, it's fine. Although the less the better, because we are being timed right now. Another one. Yeah, there's no reason to go that long way there. It's not going to save us any time. In fact, it'll get rid of our time. Okay. One, two, because we're probably going to need two. Oh, there's a dragon, huh? Time is actually kind of tight to complete this, so I'm not 100% sure if we'll be able to get this, but we're here, so let's try and get it. Yeah, this weapon's not super powerful for Steve. He isn't just tearing everything apart like he used to. And the time's also a little shorter in this dungeon than the others. Whole bunch of Lancers, huh? That's okay, they take big damage. Nice, just when I was needing the double shot. Just stand in there. Whatever. Whatever gets the job done. More Lancers. It's good. They take a big damage. Alright. Okay, so I guess the other one's a Mimic, probably. Yeah. Hopefully it's just a small one. I really have no idea if we're going to get the time medal. I guess we'll find out in a sec. Yeah, I definitely did need the two weapon powders, so it's good I did that earlier. Alright, let's see. Did we do it? No. Alright, that sucks. Yeah, Steve just wasn't strong enough, I guess. We have two shots for this one, but it seems okay. Oh well. Yeah, five and a half minutes is not a long time, so I'll definitely need more powerful weapons first. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's terrible. Ah, oh, man, again. 
Uh, maybe we can get this in there. Okay, now this is this is just gonna be a pure luck shot. Let's see what happens. All right. Terrible. That's basically what you call a failed floor. Failed run. Well, I mean, I can't even be happy about getting the Ride Pod medal because, like, we're literally gonna have to just have Steve do it again anyway. So, yeah. That didn't really help anything, actually. Oh well. Last floor, the final battle. We'll just do this one normally, I suppose. There's no more Geostones, I guess. I guess we basically have everything that we need now, right? I don't think there are any Geostones in these last levels, actually. No, yeah, we, we got everything. Alright. Okay, let's look at Max and Monica's weapons. Monica's sword is definitely fine. Let's give him some smash, shall we? Yeah, her sword's fine, and I think when it comes to her armlet, I'm just going to wait until we have infinite gemstones to upgrade. That is a fat dragon. Well, I mean, being made thirsty doesn't actually matter, because it's not like we were able to eat anything to begin with. It takes less damage when its HP is critical, okay. Ah, oh, well, we're already done. Well, that was very anticlimactic. Oh well. That is like two seconds away from knocking Max out. Oh, well, that was easy. <laughs> Move to the sun chamber. through this door. Return when you are ready. Alright everybody, so we are going to leave it here for this episode, so I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope you have a good day, and we will see you in the next one. Bye.